Hey guys, what's cracking? Godsman here, the guy you might see over at the top of the list before you click on different fight videos anyway. Uh, today, we've got a, another installment of Custom Card Review. This is going to be the second to the last one. I repeat, this is the pen ultimate episode for this season of reviews. So we're getting really close to the end. A lot of fantastic stuff, and I'm really looking forward to the custom card battles, which are happening. Haven't forgotten about those. We're committing to those. They're going to be great. I get loads of questions about, hey, Godsman, when are you going to do custom card battles? Like, l literally, it feels like every time I get DM'd by a sub, like, that's what happens, right? You know, I could be like, hey, dude, you know, I'm, I'm worrying the loss of my dog. He died in a car accident. Like, that's okay. Uh, custom card battles when? Question mark? <laughs> it's it's crazy. Well, the custom the car of... battle. Not doing the custom car battles wouldn't bring your dog back, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> he needs logical encouragement or some line of BS, I guess. Uh, for for you, long time guys, you already know the drill. Naps is here. Uh, he makes this 150% better than if I did it on my own. So we love Naps here. Uh, today we've got Do Bodybuilder. Amazing name. I wish I could be a bodybuilder. This guy apparently is enough bodybuilder for two people. Uh, he's maybe, apparently. Uh, what's up? Maybe he builds Vanguard decks. <laughs> maybe, maybe he builds. Vanguard deck. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, I'll build your deck. Uh, I, I Deck building might be kind of a cool profession if it ever became a profession, but that would be an anime world, whatever. So this is this is his uh, first post. So he's popping his custom card cherry. So let's go ahead and be sensitive about this. Um, VC and VG are Vanguard and RC and RG. So yeah, we we understand that, uh, but I, I guess he's <laughs> okay. not used uh to this anyway. Um, oh, he's doing the up? commercial line. All right, I, I'll do all the girls, you do all the guys. Ready? Ah, as is classic <laughs> in our playthroughs. Let's do it. Card fight Vanguard. At last, we have a way to end the uniformers. To stop all who support them, we shall ignite our Slayer's soul. Booster pack, Age of the Slayers, now on sale. Bushy Road. Bushy Road. <laughs> <laughs> And then you just hear accelerate in the background because you know that that's some dank uh, music for the commercials they have these days. Like, like I actually will listen to the commercials yeah. just to hear accelerate by proxy. It's crazy. Um, so scrolling down here, he's it's, if you could tell by the commercial, the Slayer series is essentially what his motif is for these cars. Oh so they're sort of like mask, but good guys. So if they had an answer to reverse, that wasn't Messiah or Liberators. Um, so we'll start <laughs> off with the generic order cards. Soul of the Slayer is a grade three normal order, and its card effect is look at top five cards of the deck, choose a unit with Slayer and its card name from among them, reveal and put in your hand, shuffle your deck. So obviously Slayer is the counterpart to what a mask is, except um, interestingly, there's not a sort of searcher or servant type counterpart, uh, cause it's only adding the Slayer itself. Now, act in the drop. If you have a Grade 3 without Slayer in its card name, you reveal a Grade 3 with Slayer in its card name from hand. You ride it, and if you wrote it, you put this card into Soul. If the opponent's Grade 3 or greater, you activate Persona Ride if it hasn't been activated this turn. So, essentially, it's a Mask of Feature going for the Slayers. Enough said. Uh, I have no complaints about this. The hmm. Shatter the Connection. Ooh, I like the name. Uh, it's a Grade 3 Blitz Order. Play this card with Counter Blast 2. Oh, this is going to be good. If your damage zone has four or more cards and your opponent's attacking Vanguard has Mask in its card name, retire the Vanguard, then remove all cards slash tokens that have Dragon Tree or Mask from your opponent's hand, field, soul, deck, drop, or pint zone. Uh, your opponent must then ride any one removed unit without Mask in its card name as rest, and any copies that are outside the deck, place back into the deck, and sh Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh god. Whoa! Oh, uh, the drag assassins. No. That, oh, okay, no. Okay. 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 It's not the drag assassins. It's it's, it's it's because the the only reason why it mentions removed is because of what the mask did. So you basically have purified the ewy yucky evil mask player. Uh, this, I guess this is how we beat all of the mask people rather than just do the dodgy solution of play crazy and ride draw jeweled on Bruce. Um, that. I, I mean, I don't know. What do you have to say about this, Nabs? I feel like this is very uh, hard to approach and say, all right, that's just, it's just proof of concept. Uh, huh. You know? 
kind of dig it. <laughs> it's it cool. doesn't. Uh, uh, I guess one thing that's kind of yucky about this is that it's basically just. It shouldn't make the opening ride it as rest because your opening needs. Come on, man, have some mercy. Your opening should be able to do drive checks. That <laughs> is very fair. They should be able to perform drive checks. Um. Oh, another thing, actually, I just realized something that I think should be a part of this is it should. Um. In addition to having the counter blast two cost. It should have a condition that you have a Slayer Vanguard. That way, this isn't just something generic that anyone who isn't playing Slayers is doing. This should be Slayer Lock because the concept is that it's the Slayers that are undoing the mass. But aside from that, I like it. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, uh, the rest thing. Oh my god, can you imagine a mask that using this against another mask deck? <laughs> 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 Honestly, that is how I would imagine. Like, like literally, it's like Punisher kills the Marvel Universe, but it's Zorga mask at Cray. He murders all like the other mask units, but he's like, hmm. Well, you see, I didn't put on the mask. I just used the mask, so I'll just go ahead and use this too now because I'm just that cool and exceptional. <laughs> Damn, that's that, that's hilarious though. Uh, Burn the Bramble is a type. Uh, is Ooh, card oh, nice I was about name. to say type three. Uh, it's a grade three normal type order. He has type three diabetes. Uh, so the card effect yeah. is play this the same thing. <laughs> Lamau. Uh <laughs> Counter Blast 2 and Soul Blast 2. Ooh, it's even more expensive. Um, if your damage zone has four or more cards and your opponent has a dragon tree or mass vanguard, remove all dragon tree markers on the field that apply one of the results Whoa. based on the number of markers removed this way. Your front row gains five thousand uh -huh. power until end of turn. Uh, two to three is four. your front row gets ten thousand power until end of turn. Four to five, your front what? row can perform drive checks until the end of your turn. Oh, the Yo. Whoa, whoa, chill, chill, my guy. Oh my god, chill, chill. <laughs> Again, chill. I, I, like, like, power. The power being that insane. Like, aside, this, this <laughs> one definitely needs to be Slayer locked. <laughs> like, I don't want. I don't want. Like, the moment, like, even a, a whiff of a mass deck enters the meta, burn the bramble. Boom. You're done, son. No. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't apply all. It just it says apply one of the, the effects below. I'm like, damn, boy. Chill. <laughs> I mean, that's still wild, right? Uh, that, that's what, yeah. I mean, I guess if it, if, if it was all of them, that'd be wild. But I guess if it's one of them, I, I feel like what you could have done this instead is take out the drive checks and make it to where your front row gets 5,000 power for every one of the markers removes. And that's how you scale mm -hmm. it. Actually, don't remove at all. Don't remove at all. Yeah, it's, it's kind of such a uh, kind of a dick move. Actually, oh yeah, actually, don't remove. don't reset them. Just <laughs> just let them keep the markers and then get pounded for it. Bro, <laughs> bro, how much, bro? Fucking Griffo Gila ain't deserved this. You know uh, that, right? Like, why bro. why are we countering Griffo Gila? <laughs> That's funny. But I mean, it's still though conceptually, it's cool. Um. But yeah, then try to try to change this a little bit because it scales too hard towards the end. Um, albeit it's just based on the mark amount of markers removed. So your your opponent would have to be playing the game very well in order to allow this. Uh, but by that token, I feel like if they got to four or five markers, they're playing so well that they don't deserve to be punished by a Saki card like this. Um, <laughs> it, like that that's just my opinion though. Uh, however, the concept is there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, eclipse, uh, ecliptic end. I was about to say eclipse end. Same basic thing, I guess. Great three blitz or wow, he's got a lot of these. Um, so the card effect is you play this with counter blast two. I guess counter blast two is just non-negotiable for these. Um, if your damage zone has five or more cards, so ultimate break. And your opponent's vanguard has Griffo Kila in its card name, and an over trigger was triggered for the right deck this turn. Nullify the effect of Nullify. the trigger, and your opponent's units rest all units that are any dragon tree markers and increase all these units' power to see what they have the turn. What? An, <laughs> what an asshole! Do you not know how many, how much effort it takes to play Griffo Kila, and then you just slap this shit on? You, what an asshole! That's not okay. Okay, you literally dedicate your entire being into the turn six play when you play Griffo Gila. That's it. That's all you do. And then this guy's like, oh, well, I mean, you you played very well, sir. You did everything you were supposed to. You made all the right moves. You survived to this point. But I drew, I happen to draw this card, so you lose. No, this Bro. isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. We don't play like that. <laughs> we don't get it's to like, have Nibiru. This is like somebody... 
it's like somebody taking the concept of over triggers and making it even fucking worse. This is a, the best part. Is you want to know what's, you want to know what's the best part? You can what? play four of these. <laughs> right, right, right. It's not even the Saki one of the Saki four of. Um, it, it, something else that's really hilarious is there's a couple of just like extras to this effect that makes it more of a ducky, right? Because you're resting all the units of the dragon ship markers anyway. Why do you need to put their power to zero? <laughs> oh, God. You don't need to do that. You also rest him. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, also yeah. rest him. <laughs> uh huh. You also nullify their effects because why not? I guess uh, it's like why, why? That's that's oh God. The, the, like here's the thing. I think shattered the connection is cool, but these are so inordinately targeted and just a complete shutdown that ah the and also generic mind you i don't like these ones um exculpate the evil is a grade three sat order right okay so we have to finish our order trifecta so to speak card effect did you have a slayer vanguard hallelujah finally okay. he remembered that one finally. uh play this with carol blast 2 and soul blast 2 oh we're back to this cost auto when placed in the order zone, add a Settle greater order. or lower unit with followers carded for your target. So you do have followers, but your your uh, mask of hydrogen doesn't search them. Mm. Uh, now I'm starting to have a little bit of an oh, issue no. with that. Uh, there can only be one excavate the evil in your order zone. Fine. If you play another excavate the evil, the okay. original might be sent to the drop zone. Therefore, you probably shouldn't do it. Um, continue this in the order zone during your battle phase. Units that are either on a dragon tree marker or have dragon tree or mask in their card name get minus 5000 for every two dragon tree markers on the field uh nah what is this I, nah, at least he mentions this? during your battle phase so at bare minimum when they're going after you they're going to be at full power uh, uh oh no i don't even know if i like that because like you yeah, know it's like gradual <laughs> it's like it's easy dredge you. <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, they probably won't have like that much dragon tree markers anyway. So I think you go for three and just stay mm. with that. I mean, the moment these if these were released in the re in the real game, they become college common knowledge and you would just stay at three, I think. Um you wouldn't go for four. Mm. Hmm. That's trippy. Uh ah you know, this is not that offensive because you can only control one. Um, not only can you only control one, yes, the cost is fine, and you have to have a Slayer Vanguard. Uh, oh, I mean, it does plus, but it's only when you place in the order zone, which I guess is the reason why you would play another one in the first place. But because this is just a con skill that's blinking, you only have one of it. That that's okay, and because a Griffo deck is normally only going to have a max like three by the time the opponent gets a chance to go to grade three. Uh, the essence of it is that they'll see this coming, uh, even without prior experience. If they just read the goddamn card, they'll realize, okay, I probably should have put another one down. Um, and it, it, it's, it's debilitating, but you could just say that the net effect is a continuous 5,000 power to your front row when you're playing against Dragon Tree. And that net effect doesn't seem that shocking when the crest exists for things like Chrono Jet and Messiah. So I'm I'm okay with that. This isn't this isn't that bad. All right. Uh, so that's good. That's fair. So this next post are the Slayer cards for Yu Yu Kondo. Ah, okay. So that's cool. Um, we're gonna All go right. through the uh, the OGs like that. So I get, maybe if we don't get Master Room, this is how it would be. But that's kind of neat. Um, Chocolate Barty Victory Phoenix Dragon Nirvana Java Slayer. That is a seven that worded is name. Long name. <laughs> uh, so stats are what you would expect. Now, card effect. It can only be written from a grade three Ravana in his card name. Cool. All right. It's got the same kind of closet and mask unit does. So I, I, I appreciate the duality because you can base a lot of your stipulations on predetermined card design. Uh, so act van circle. Mm -hmm. um, irritates me this wasn't spaced into a new uh, bar, but whatever. Uh, act van once per turn. Discard two cards from hand. Choose up to two trick star and up to two prayer dragon units from your drop and add them to your hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, chill. No, that shouldn't be saying get up to your hand. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, honestly, it also doesn't remove. It also doesn't remove in Nirvana. Uh, I, I'm going to assume that removing is more of a mass thing because that's I think that's perceived as like a villainous aspect, right? Um, so they mm. they might not retain that. Um, what would be cool is if they have something about specifically retaining them in the soul, but I don't know. We haven't read on. Uh, Auto on the van circle once per turn. This ability is cost reduced by one counter blast for each card in the overdress and cross overdress state. Ooh, 
When this unit attacks, Ooh, counterblast awesome. three and discard two cards from your hand. Oof. Okay, so we've got a sort Whoa. of uh, raging reverse type of clause. Um, choose one of your rear guards in the cross overdress state or one of your rear guards in the overdress state. Stand it. If your persona wrote this turn, choose both states instead of one. Okay. Yeah. I. You see, I ah. appreciate that because it pitches two in addition. So now it starts to make more sense. Okay. Honestly, I, I kind of like that. Uh, now we don't need to play Clad and Prayer. We play this. That, that, that brings back that brings back the like the rush aspect of it, and you hella play draw triggers in this deck now. Um, and you can also like use uh Mirrors by Arena to get back attrition. You, if you want to tank the counterblast which you probably don't even need to really tank the counterblast that much it's usually go if you want to fully utilize this it's going to be cb1 anyway um so that's mm. huh mm. I, <laughs> you know it'd be funny uh <laughs> is you make a third what? crossover just unit in the back row specifically to make this no counterblast that way um battle by arena will be the only cb you do for multi-attack that turn make the card uh Make the card attack from the back row as well. <laughs> Truly, bloom solution to multi attack. <laughs> the power of the Akabo. That's the power of the eight leaves. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Um, right, cool. On. Cool card. Didn't seem that I was a little bit skeptical at first, but considering how you were using those resources to burn for a neat rush, I like it. Um, winged follower equip angelic Virena actually feels like something they'd make. Um, okay, so <laughs> race talisman's funny. That's that that is what their races are, I think. Um crossover dress, a trick star, yep. and a prayer dragon. Alright, so still the same thing. No joker dress. Thank Adios. Um, trails reference for those of you who aren't into that. Um, auto. When this unit is placed on rear circle by crossover just choose up to two of each card with Trickstar, Equip, Dragon, and Virena in their card history drop and put them as this unit's overdrive. Whoa. So we took Muraz from Virena and made it bigger. Uh, auto on the rear circle once per turn. When this unit attacks, if this unit is in the cross overdress state, choose up to one of Trickstar and Equip Dragon from its original dress. Whoa. Call them to open rear Call circle. Them. Then choose a unit with Irina as its, as its original dress and either overdress or cross overdress using those units on rear circle for the cost and perform draw and discard or counter charge and soul charge. That does too Excuse much. Excuse me. That does too much. Excuse me. Why is performing overdress the fucking cost here? <laughs> 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 no what is this excuse me i mean i appreciate that one of them is to draw and discard but then it just straight up says country charge and soul charge that's Miraz's <laughs> job is Why? to counter charge and soul charging is the job of like a freaking equip dragon um but no like seriously don't do that. that yeah don't do that i mean she i will admit cross overdressing like like that i i do i do like that idea of crossover dressing from him like he sort of is like a fortress type thing right that would be a kind of a cool name fortress Virena, and you kind of hold it in there and then he sort of churns them out um so it's sort of like a, a, a ah. factory right but the thing about it is this is done He's very pregnant. ineloquently because it's costless and it's a multi-attack and you get to do even more on top of that and if there's one thing that shouldn't be a part of overdressed card design although at some point it's probably going to happen is you shouldn't do more you know like you do your yeah, thing no. and that's it right uh, you know i wouldn't mind stuff. uh i wouldn't mind if we get like another quote-unquote erger you know like a crossover dress mid battle yeah i could see that like crossover dress mid battle is kind of cool but when you're doing that it needs to a be the real thing that it does and B, it also needs to have a cost associated with it if you're going to do it that way. Um, at least I believe so because you already have the resourcing. <laughs> but Josh, you know, performing overdress is the cost. <laughs> Not when you play this card. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> no, oh God, the best part of it is that it counter charges in addition to just overdressing as a cost. <laughs> Damn, yeah, that 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 was too much, bro. Uh, so follower equip dragon Java Star, excuse me. 
Um, card effects. When this unit becomes an original dress, oh, great. Uh, whenever we see these sort of mildly busted Virenas, uh, the overdresses are also cracked. So let's see if this follows that. We have both a Nirvana Wait. Vanguard and a unit either cross overdress or overdress. You Soul Blast 2. And your front row units get power plus 10,000 power? No. Um, if you use Persona right this turn, your front rows get critical plus one. Get out of here. Whoa, what the fuck? And keep Excuse in mind, me, keep in mind, standing... he built this in mind with the card that restands your two front row units. And for this... a soul blast. <laughs> yeah, and you know what else is funny? You know what's great? Uh, this is for a Slayer card, which has a Mask of Hydrogram equivalent. So you could do this if you went second on the first grade three turn. Oh God, no. <sighs> Oh, it, this doesn't even need a Slayer Vanguard. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Why? Ugh, moving on. Um, the, the Java was actually pretty salvageable and neat, but everything after that just never lived up. Uh, okay, so here's mm -hmm. the Donji cards. Diablos Spirited Slayer Bruce. Cool name. Uh, let's see. Card effects. Uh. Can only be written on a grade 3 Bruce. Fine. Auto Van. At the beginning of your battle phase, if you only have Diablos as your units, until the end of the opponent's next turn, you final rush to their grade three grade final burst. So it's essentially the vitamins burst clause. Act Van Circle. If your opponent's Vanguard has Dragon Tree or Mask in its card name, Soul Blast three cards of Diablos in their card names. Call you two units with Diablos in their names from the drop, and those units get. When this unit stand due to a card effect, it performs a drive check. At the end of the turn, return this unit to the drop zone um okay you need to be stopped you need to be stopped all right this man needs to be stopped like actually what uh, the fuck <laughs> mm, uh, somebody needs to stop this man bro <laughs> okay so something i want to point out uh that's really trippy why does java slayer not care about mass for the opponent but this guy has a hate boner for him as one of his effects that's weird uh okay mm. so yeah the, 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 this is too much you soul blast three which in dark states is not a cost um and you get to plus two and then plus another two minimum because of the drive checks okay cool uh so auto van circle when this unit attacks i mean sure they go to the drop zone which i don't know why he said didn't say, say retire but he just returns them to the drop zone but considering that it they say perform drive checks but you could get even more drives uh especially if you call grade threes or whatever or you know be funny and call uh grade four bruce auto van circle when this unit attacks if you're in final burst you kind of blast one you choose a column stand all of your rear guards with diablos and their card name in that column which uh Great. And they get wait. five thousand power to end a turn. Wait, I just realized the the egg effect, um, it's saying that the moment it stands you perform a drive check. And, uh, uh, I'm not sure you know how drive check timings work, my guy. <laughs> yeah, like uh, Well Yeah, that that's so weird. Uh it would have to say um, it would have to get like the effect that says Kant. If this unit stood to a card effect this turn, um, it, it it's it's a weird wording, but I get what you mean. He doesn't perform the drive check right then and there, but that's what this effect implies because um, it's triggering on that moment. Um, so yeah, yeah, pretty cracked. Um, the, honestly, sorry, go on. The the restand effect only restands a column, so. If that's the case, then it has to mean that um, it doesn't perform, uh, they don't perform drive check on a type, but rather when they stand. You know, so this, yeah, I, I, something I want to bring up as well is this is fine. And I think even this is fine, right? Uh, but this is just so weird and different and out there. And if you just took that out and made it just these two effects, you probably had something. Now, admittedly, if you did just make it these two effects, it would be so close to Viamence that it's almost indistinguishable as a card. Like, the most important thing about it would just be the name at that point. Uh, so, at your, you're a Bruce player. Um, you, you like playing Viamence. So, how would you approach sprucing up this card, assuming it didn't have the abysmal act effect. 
あーうんゲラあー honestly reduce、uh, for the X skill just reduce the cost Uh, reduce the cost, reduce the call, and only give the drive check ability to the one card you call. I think that would be fine because it is a hefty cost, right? That's weird、um, that you would even go that way because I was saying, like, remove this effect entirely.、Um, but I guess if you wanted to salvage the effect, Soul Blast three cards of Diablos and their card names is not that hefty of a cost considering how many ways you could potentially build Soul. I mean, Julian is a card. Yes, Julian is a card, but、uh, I honestly find him kind of inconvenient most of the time. Honestly. It's.、Uh, I, I, I honestly. Honestly, I think I'm too biased to,、uh, to say a proper opinion on how to improve this. Quote unquote. <laughs> Here, this is,、uh, this is probably how I would do it then.、Um... Which is you, you scrap this effect, then you tack onto this effect at the end here. You would tack on then, then Soul Blast 2. Two,、uh, Soul Blast 2. And if, so you pay the Soul Blast 2 cost, and the unit in the front row that you stood with the effect can perform a drive check. And it, the <laughs> two has to be Diablos. So there you go. It's, it's all part of one effect. You only get one extra drive check for that one attack. It's very concise that way, and you, you finally have a way to use your soul.、Um, so I, I feel like that's fine.、Uh, Vyamance deserves to、it's、have、fair. that kind of stronger pressure going for it. So that, that's probably how you fix it.、Uh, Diablo's Faller, Resurrector Raven. Neat.、Um, continuous on rear. If you're in final burst, it gets 10,000 power and shield plus 5,000. Sure.、Uh, auto rear circle. When place. e d In the drop zone by one of your card effects. If your Vanguard is Diablo Spirited Slayer Bruce. So, this one does care about Slayer Bruce specifically.、Uh, cost Soul Blast 1, return this card to your hand. No.、Um, if you're in Final Rush, return one Diablos unit from your drop along with this card and return one trigger to your deck and shuffle it. If you're in Final、fuck? Burst, return additional two cards. No! What the fuck? No! What? Jesus! c h i l l You need to stop!、Uh, you're a menace! Oh, oh god, there's three more to go after this. I cannot see b r e s t i a n like this. <laughs> god, let's, let's, let's get through Deanna first.、Uh, so, Deanna's skill is continuous rear circle. If you're in final rush, this unit gains power 5 and shield 5. If you're in final burst, it gets、instead. 10 power and shield instead. Okay.、Um, And then,、right. when placed in the drop zone by one of your card effects, OG will look or so wonder how. Care Bless will return this card to your hand.、Um, that I'm actually. Okay, in the context, if we had to keep the whole drop zone thing, I don't mind that so much.、Uh, because CB is still a real cost for you, and it is a defender by. So, it, it really epitomizes the attack and defend sword and shield type ideal behind her.、Mm-hmm. That is fine. This is not.、Um, so, okay, I'll, I'll give you credit. Deanna is pretty good.、Uh, so, here's the Toya ones. Oh, Yugi, what oh, a、God. plot twist. The Toya cards、oh, came、God. right after the Donji cards.、Uh, okay, so have I made you sick of that meme yet? Because you've already made me sick of that meme.、Uh, continue. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not sick of it. Continue, please. Damn it.、Uh, so, all right, the, the ride clause. Then, continuous van. All of your front row gets power plus 3,000. Damn. All right, we are both. All right, that, that's that, that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, act on van circle once per turn. If your opponent's vanguard has dragon tree or mess, uh, rest at least one grade three rears, and this unit's gain this unit gains triple drive until end of your turn. Hey, 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 elementaria is salivating. If you rest at three or more, all rears get shield plus 10,000 intercept and boost until the end of your opponent's、no. next turn. No, no,、Whoa. absolutely、Jeez. fucking not.、Right. Uh, absolutely fucking not. What the fuck? Let's read on. Auto once per turn. At the end of the battle, that you drive checked a grade the sun or greater card, you put a grade three card from your hand or soul into. 
or soul stand all of your grade three rear guards and they get power play. you see that pisses me off this is, just, if, this this is, is such just power cry creep. but better that's such that's power just, creep better better. wow what in the hell you literally get nah. the soul blast any grade three any grade three and let's keep in mind that because of the slayer gimmick and it it, it, it says grade three card because of the Slayer gimmick, you're going to have A, regular Bastion, and B, the Mask of Hydrogum equivalent in your soul. So for free, you get to have two instances of that cost just squared away. And then as your Persona riding, as any D standard player does, that Persona ride inherently makes this a free, peaceless Bastion Prime. No, thank you. Jesus Christ, dude. God, it uh, got even worse. It got even worse. Wow. Oh. I don't even care about this effect. It's too outlandish for consider. You know what? The 3K buff is weird and superfluous as a number, but fine. You know, it's it, it's okay. At least, you know, Bastion giving a front row buff makes sense. But 3K is so odd. Because if your normal modus operandi is to have a 13 being boosted by a 13, that's 26. And so 26 plus 3 is 29. That's not a very meaningful number. <laughs> I think uh, I think they did it for uh, Embrace Dragon, actually. Embrace because he's a 12? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, 12... Uh... 12 boosted by a uh, 16 is 28. Well, yeah, but um, Embrace Dragon's one card. And it's a shield card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 mm -hmm. I just don't. Yeah, I, the, 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 you pointed out earlier, the number is weird. Um, and then this is just, this is not okay, man. This this pisses all over Bastion Prime. It's not even funny. Apex oh, Heavenly God. Follower. All no! Day. Oh, boy. No! Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Once a night, always a night. Uh, continues to the deck. If you're... Uh, he is a great three. Okay. Um, if your Vanguard has Slayer in its name, this unit has grade minus one. Why? He's... Huh? Wait, hold on a second. Am I reading something wrong? Great skill okay. three... He's a great three, right? Yeah. Why do you make him a great two? Um, when play some rear, deck. you counter blast two, soul blast one. Okay, so you kept the cost. Choose a card from your hand and call it to rear guard. If you call it a grade three, call a grade three from drop to rear guard. I mean, okay. That, okay. That That's an, an interesting revival huh? skill for the same cost. Uh, auto, when this unit attacks, you have at least three, three units. This unit gets plus 5,000 power. If you have at least five, this unit gains 10,000 power instead. No. Um, but also... Uh, so why is it a grade two? It, uh, it, it, that's why it's. I think, I think they were trying to. You know what? No, I have no explanation. What the fuck? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, I cannot think of anything. I can't fathom like, why no... they would make that choice. That's so bizarre. No words come to mind. <laughs> uh, Alden is question mark out of ten. So, Apex Broadaxe Follower, but Fluke, at least he's got names down. Um, card effects, deck, if you have a Slayer... Great, Refluke is also a great two for some ungodly reason. What? Uh, act on rear, put this card in the soul, choose two of your grade three rear guards and give them each uh, 5,000 power, but if your opponent has Dragon Tree or Mask, get 10,000 power. Effect is neat. Um, I actually don't mind that one so much. Uh, it's normally going to be 5,000, so you kind of just piecemeal the refluke 10k to two units instead that's fine i i think that's an interesting uh upgrade quote unquote if you would even consider an upgrade i consider an upgrade though uh but it's an upgrade i consider it because uh two units getting plus 5k instead of one unit getting plus 10k yeah that's an upgrade yeah. especially when the uh the most common way to survive a bastion turn is just to choose the biggest column and let that be the thing you just tank anyway <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the oh, Magnolia God. cards. Oh boy. We don't even have an explanation for the great minus shit. No, 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 no explanation <laughs> needed, I guess. Smile. Oh, God. Okay. So, 
I'm not even going to mention the grade three. Mag I'm not going to mention the ride clause. The ride clause is the ride clause. Uh, auto. When this unit's placed on Van Circle, you may choose a card from your soul and call it to Rear Circle. Okay. Uh, contains Van. If you have more than one card with Magnolia in your soul or on Rear, all of your Rear guards can attack and intercept from the back row and get power plus five thousand power. That's um. Okay. It's just Magnolia Elder. Uh, auto van at the beginning of your battle phase. If your opponent has a uh, dragon tree or mask vanguard, soul blast one. This unit gets triple drive until the end of your turn. Why'd you just make Magnolia what? Elder again? Just what? make it. Just this is Magnolia Elder, but it costs more. Uh, does the does the Slayer Mask triple drive? Uh, uh, sorry, does the Slayer Mask activate Persona right? It does activate Persona right. That's the difference. I guess that's it's magnolia elder with persona right which okay sure um and it only gets the i mean you know um... in terms of card design like like balance wise it's so in rooted in what we've already seen that i can't necessarily say this is busted or even underpowered on the opposite end of the spectrum it's just uninspired weird yeah it's just weird Hmm. I th this is hmm. the least offensive one, but kind of not saying that much. Uh, so Sylvan Horn Beast Follower Prince, I'm not pronouncing you. Uh, so card it's effect. Uh, you... This is the triple R that Magnolia got in set two. Cool. Have a cookie. Auto. When this unit is placed on rear, if okay. your Vanguard has Magnolia Slayer in its name, you soul blast two. Choose up to three back row rear guards, and they get power. Make it five thousand, and we're good. Ah, okay. wow, so blessed too. Ah, uh, you know what Stoic here says about so blessed? <laughs> it doesn't even exist because we have inland poles. Uh, so I would I would say yeah, just make it five thousand power and it's fair for the price. Uh, Commander Alpin. Ah, now Alpin's one I remember. Uh, continues on the rear. It can only be called to and cannot move from the back row. Fine. Um, it's a power eleven thousand, which is a critical thing to note. Conti uh, continuous on rear. If your Vanguard's Magnolia Slayer gets 5,000 and shield plus 10,000. Um, ah, well, that's oh. really easy. Um, uh, that's very I mean, cool. Buff. Why I couldn't guess. it have been shield plus 5,000, you know? I uh, don't yeah. know. Uh, I mean, these cards are eh, out of 10. <laughs> like, they're the least offensive of the bunch, but I feel like this guy sort of gave up with them. Uh, in, a, in, in a weird way like uh, I, like don't get me wrong the car design here wasn't so amazing and blowing me out of the water that I was fiending for more but I could have at least wanted something where he had like a really cool idea here but this is just like oh yeah here's the magnolia crap just let him do magnolia stuff you know moving on um like, <laughs> it's like, okay I don't know uh there, there there was better magnolia cards like the one you made uh, so the Slayer cards for Tomari, Aurora Archangel Seraph Slayer. Again, his names are ten out of ten, but I think that seems to be the only thing that's ten out of ten so far. When this unit is placed on the Van Circle, you Counter Blast one and Soul Blast one. Your opponent chooses two cards each from their hand, soul, and rears and prism in your prison. If your opponent has a Dragon Tree or Mass Vanguard, your opponent chooses three cards instead. Great. Uh, it's just Seraph Pure Light, but more against Mask. Act on Van. If your opponent has a Dragon Tree or Mass Vanguard, uh, so this is completely locked into your opponent having that kind of deck, you Counter Blast 1 and send 2 Imprisoned Units from to the Owner's Drop Zone, or Soul Blast 1 and send 1 Imprisoned Unit to the Owner's Drop Zone. This unit gets triple drive down a turn. That's actually somewhat innovative. Uh, in like that, I like that cost. That cost is interesting. Continuous on the van. During your turn, all your front row gets 5,000 for every two of your opponents. And if they're... Please don't tell me there's 10. If there's, there's 10 for... It. It's just Seraph Earlight. Why? Ugh. I don't know what to say, man. I... I... I've I've been quiet because I really don't know what to say. It's just <laughs> uh, I kinda miss his wet cards. It's just pure light. Uh <laughs> Aurora Battle Follower Agra Rouge. Oh, cool, cool pick. Um 
I actually want to see like these retrains because I feel like that's one thing I did dig about G is they had like unit retrains and the unit retrains look kind of cool seeing how they developed in life. Uh, so that, that'd be nice to see for standard. Continuous on the van or rear. If two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, this unit gets 5,000 shield plus 10,000. Well, that's just power creep. Um, out on the rear. When <laughs> placed on rear circle, you soul blast one, choose one of your opponent's front row rears, and imprison in your prison. If the chosen unit was on a dragon tree marker, choose the same unit in the same column. Choose the unit in the same column and imprison in your prison. Uh, kind of cool for anti dragon tree stuff. It scales properly to hurting that particular deck strategy which by the way if you're playing prison against dragon tree you're probably going to win anyway because they don't really have soul for you and they need cb for things like markers <laughs> 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 i mean you're, you're just going to choke them out on resources so they're playing something like brand or whatever but uh that, that's neither here nor there that's just a match specific thing he wanted to do it for all five so he had to still substantiate uh what happened to be a good matchup anyway um yeah, okay, this isn't really offensive. It just kind of does what it's supposed to for an Agra Luch retrain. This is fine. Uh, this is cool. Uh, Aurora Battle Follower, Glorious Gleamer. So, continue on rear. If you got a Seraph Slayer, this unit gets uh, 10,000 power and, t and shield plus 5,000. I like this better. That's more like it. Uh, continue on rear. If you've got an Aurora Archangel Seraph Slayer, because there's multiple Seraph Slayers. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this Seraph Slayer and this is Aurora Archangel Seraph Slayer? That's, that's so silly. I, I'm not angry about that. I'm just laughing. Uh, this unit gains intercept and can intercept from the back row. It's a... Uh, damn. You're really tanking with your cards. Okay. Uh, auto on the... Auto once per turn. When this unit is placed on rear from the hand, if three or more of your cards are prison... In, your opponent's cards are prison in your prison. Search your deck for up to one card with followers card and call through and shuffle your deck. Uh, okay, A, it's free, and B, it searches from the deck card blanc. No. Um, it needs to CB and peep like seven. Mm. But then that could have been permissible. Uh, now, one thing I will say is I kind of understand the shield value things because dragon tree markers are inherently aggressive right they're meant to help you go on the offense slayers are the deterrent and so they're naturally more defensive that's cool that i understand but if you're going to do it like that what you could have done instead is have them gain five five thousand shield if your opponent has a dragon tree marker right or maybe if they have 5,000 shield inherently, but 10,000 if they have the marker. That way, you're having the specific counter to the gimmick online when it's with that gimmick. Otherwise, you're kind of mm. having this really over-the-top advantage against other Joe Schmoes. Like, if someone's coming in playing, like, Astro Unica, and suddenly you're just like, 10,000 shield, intercept for 30,000 shield, and why not? Let's throw in another 15,000 from the hand, right? Like, like, really? You know, why are you going to bust their balls with this infinite guarding stuff? You know, it's like, I mean, I'm not saying infinite as in he's got infinite, sh uh, like, value or whatever. It's just that it feels like there's so much defense that not a lot of decks get to benefit from, and it's just because you're saying, oh, these guys are supposed to fight the mass, so they should be defense. It's like, yeah, it's not really. Yeah, much also, uh, also just for good measure, uh, increase their monthly rent as well. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yep. So, uh, uh, Mirai gets one. Wow, okay. Was well, about to give my final thoughts with you, but I guess there's more. So, Slayer buffs Agra. Okay. Uh, continuous on the van or rear. It's also regarded as uh, buff Sagra. You know what? I like that. It was attention to detail. Um, auto on uh, van circle. Once per turn, when this unit is armed, you soul charge one, choose a grade one or less card from your drop and call to rear. Alright, so it's Bavs. Uh, this should prove to be the interesting effect unless he just decided that it should be Bavs. Um, act on van once per turn. If this unit is armed with two or more cards, counter blast one and soul blast two. Ooh, Bavs actually comes with the counter blast. Uh, retire all of your opponents from or rear guards and this unit gets critical plus one, so he kept that. If those units were on dragon tree markers or have dragon tree or mass in their card names, this unit gets triple drive on a turn. Now, see, I 
actually dig that mm. there's triple drive for an extra counter blast but conversely why is this legitimate cool upgraded effect locked behind dragon trees or mass um it, it makes it feel like you don't play this at all unless you're trying to counter the very specific matchup hmm. mm. that like ah. the clear solution here would be to the you know have the card be you know slightly better than the original uh have the effect i mean be slightly better than the original but if it's against a mask or dragon tree you get more or you know just make it straight up like how uh, maybe you know meet halfway and make it better but it doesn't scale more right uh like th that that's good card design now babs already does a fair bit so you know putting another effect on her when she already has to have four effects because of the other stipulation seems very lengthy right We're, we would get another vowing reverse type situation but surely there's a way to do that a little bit more eloquently because as it stands you just you don't really get any benefit from playing this unless it's against a very specific matchup that's not how you should do it like for instance draw uh Drodgel mask was pretty cool that way because yes you tacked on to a cb for you know the same basic effect but because it had the two retires it felt like it was fairly devastating um you you felt like you were paying that counter blast for a good reason a reason that defined that version of the deck <coughs> as a more uh control type thing but or you could also just try to press in the early game but here it doesn't do that so it, it, you can tweak it a little bit but i actually think this is probably the best of the slayers in terms of design um i like this one the mm -hmm. best so far although the nirvana one was also pretty okay the dragon fire one's hitting though <laughs> yeah uh awaken follower dragon asuka oh boy uh didn't expect that name here so the oh, artifact Shinji. <laughs> oh, you thought it's Shinji? I was thinking of, you know, the one from Vanguard. Get on brand, bro. Uh, Wait, drop. what? There's, one, there's an Asuka in Vanguard? That's an... That's Asaka, not Asuka. Oh. <laughs> Don't, can't blame me for thinking of her. I have Vanguard in the brain, huh? Uh, if your Vanguard <laughs> has Slayer Buff Sagra in its name, this unit's grade is one. See? That's an appropriate way to reduce your grade <laughs> that that makes sense um auto on the rear once per turn when this unit is called to rear guard from the drop zone you counter blast one return up to two cards with deity arms in your card name back to your hand um whoa 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 chill <laughs> yo Ew. Hmm. for one cb Uh, uh. You okay, Josh? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Proposition. Counterblast one. Either add a DD arms to the hand, just one, or if the opponent is great three or greater, you may instead call a trickman from the drop. Ah. There you go. I like that. Uh, but. You were almost on there, some on onto something there, buddy. So far, so good. Uh, Awaken follower talisman, trick moon. Uh, so uh, power six thousand, huh? Trippy. I wonder why you did that. Uh, <laughs> okay, and it's a ah, it's a grade one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now this thing is just. I. It's funny how, like, like I. Why did he need to be a, a, a grade one though, specifically, right? Because does this Babs only call grade one specifically? Um, choose, yeah, it's grade one or less card. So it could have just been a grade zero. Ah, but whatever. I'm just being. I'm just. Oh, uh, because being it's it's the retrain. See, grade ones are stronger than yeah, great zeros. <laughs> We'll see how much stronger it is. When this unit is placed on your back row center rear from drop, counter charge one. So it keeps that pause. Right. Uh, in the back row center rear guard, it has an axle. Fascinating. Okay, so uh, this is already different. I oh well, let me let me read. I've I've learned to read. Uh, if your vanguard is armed at all, I guess you soul blast one 
If your opponent's Vanguard has Dragon Trader Masterman's card, then this unit gets power plus 1,000 for each card on your opponent's field. This counts units, orders, tokens. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. So, hmm. more power, and it's based on things like it will count the... Uh, it, okay, okay. That... I, I, I don't think that's ostensibly offensive. It's only the one. It makes Bob's even bigger. Okay. Uh, now, dress boost. When his unit boosts, the boost unit gets 10,000 power until the end of that battle for each of your sealed blades made in Bob's soccer. Oh, okay. So it's just. <laughs> it's really just Trick Moon, but it has added a uh, hate boner for Dragon Tree or Mask for even more power up. That's actually okay. not that offensive. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm weirded out by it, but not necessarily against it, I guess. You know, <laughs> I've learned that and a, a card being weird is better than a card being busted. <laughs> hmm. I, I, I think I can look at a weird and think, you know, maybe he was onto something. I look at something busted and I think, okay, maybe he was on something. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, Josh, that's a good way. <laughs> that's of a pretty it. good way of putting it. <laughs> I love that meme. Uh, as opposed to the one we were talking about earlier. So, yeah. oh, okay. So when he's doing starter deck stuff, he's also going to include uh, youth and draw in this. Uh, is he going to do draw jeweled stuff? Uh, I'm. He is doing draw jeweled stuff. Okay, right. we'll get to that. What moment. about youth work? Uh, oh, he should be doing youth. It's probably the bottom stuff, right? Uh, youth Gemini Ops. Ooh, nice name. We'll get to that when we get to that though. Uh, okay, oh, so. Um, Grand Concert Master of Worldwide Bloom. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> you got even more names than the Java. Let's go. It's a competition now. Uh, so Leonor Slayer <laughs> has eight. I don't. I bro. I I bet the card text is tiny <laughs> for this kind of a name. So uh, it's a uh, the stats you would expect. Nothing. Nothing weird here. Unlike things like the Trick Moon or that one magnolia card uh act van once per turn if your opponent has a dragon tree or mask vanguard you soul charge one and discard one from your hand choose a great one or less card with a follower and its card name from your soul alter rear circle choose one of your opponent's rear cards on a dragon tree marker or in a unit with dragon tree or mask and its name retire see that's better that's better you essentially pitch and swap soul while calling to the field and you get the retire if your opponent plays dragon tree or mask you see it's what naz was talking about before you you succinctly tack on extra benefit to an effect that you would already consider playing oh wait never mind it's, wait, it's stipulation is, has dragon tree i hate you wait wait hold on hold on hold on hold on is it just me or does the cost say soul charge one yeah the cost is soul charge one and discard. That's not a cost. <laughs> That's not a cost. <laughs> That's not a cost. That's not a cost. That's not a cost. You know what I would prefer instead of soul charge one and discard a card from your hand? A uh, cost to put a card from hand to soul. Boom. It's not a soul charge <laughs> one. Put a card from soul hand to soul. That choose a great one or less a follower and call it. <laughs> Uh, but only if your vanguard is a uh, dragon to your mess. <laughs> well, okay, okay. By the way, so take this off, and it's a good effect. Take this off, especially since a it well I, was the reason I was being, but now b this is also completely redundant because if this is what's needed to activate it anyway, why do you add this stipulation? <laughs> you would just do it. You don't like you don't check twice on the same criteria. Um, so, auto on van. Uh, I don't think it checks the, uh, it just means that you open and choose, you, it just means that you choose a rear guard that's on a dragon tree marker. Oh, I misread regard, that. Or oh. a rear guard, yeah. Okay, never or mind. A rear, or a rear guard with dragon tree or messaging, yeah. <laughs> Still, I feel like they should, that, my point remains though on point A, get rid of this. Uh, and then you got an okay effect. Uh, auto on van. When this unit attacks, you counterblast one and add a card from. I really jumped the gun on that one. I feel bad now. Uh, and add a card That's from. That's not hand... a cost. That, it, it really is That's a cost. not a cost. Just put a card from hand to soul. Look, you, you know, know what? Uh, man. 
you know what uh, a cost you know a return effect that actually has been made into a cost a return in regard to your hand i don't know why but that's technically a cost uh, because bushi says so adding a card from drop to hand is specifically not a cost that is just a plus yeah it's, <laughs> it's dumb man Counter plus one, add a card from hand with follower in its card name from your drop. That's not a cost. Uh, Nabs is dying in the background. Choose up to three of your back row stand rears with boost and boost this unit with them. If you boost it with three or more okay. units, it gets drive plus one uh, until end of that battle. And at the end of the battle, choose two of your back row rear. Gr Just Leonorma plus is so one. It pluses one. It costs CB. It pluses one. It pluses two actually because the uh, the drive plus one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the drive plus one. Um, I'm I'm bored with it. It just does Leonorn, but better with card advantage. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, and plus, uh, per and and so, uh, what do I have to say about that? Uh, there's no cost. Can we just only move benefit, on? comrade. Uh, rendering. Can we just move on? <laughs> we are moving on. Uh, rendering follower resonance dragon. Okay, so it's a resonance dragon retreat. Right. He deserves it. Uh, Contrary spear. If your units More boosted a total of four more times this turn, it gets five thousand power. Okay. Uh, auto rear once per okay. turn. When this unit attacks a vanguard, if you have, uh, if you have, if you have. Yeah, if you have. I knew there was something weird here. A Vanguard with Leonorn Slayer in its card name, and your I'm, I'm surprised it doesn't just say Slayer. Uh, and that would be slick. If your units boost a total of five times or more this turn, um, five cost, or times this turn. Same thing. Uh, counter, <laughs> counter blast one until end of that battle. This unit gets drive plus one, and this unit performs a drive check. Uh... Oh. Hmm. Uh, rather than a, a hmm. stand, I'm okay with that. No, no, read the second one. Uh, at the end of the <laughs> battle, this unit attacked a vanguard. If you have a vanguard with Leonor Slayer in its card name, okay, and your units boosted a total of six or more times this turn. Airbus one, put this oh. unit to your soul. Choose one of your rear guards from soul and call it to rear a stand. Choose one of your rear guard, rest rear guards, and stand it. <laughs> So, let me get this straight. <laughs> this isn't just better Leonorn original. It's better Leonorn. <laughs> right, that it's more peace reliant. But <laughs> Wait, uh, Nabs. Um, am I what? dumb? How do you get the six boost? I have no idea. Maybe, uh, I, I have, I have no fucking idea. Like that that's an actually good question. But, um I'm gonna have to guess you need another resonance dragon. Wait, but <laughs> hold on, the resonance dragon like effect that would that would make the the boost is mm -hmm. six or more times locked. So you couldn't even get here. I Yeah. It's uh it, uh, this is a mystery, alright? That's all I'm going with that. It's a mystery. That's weird. <laughs> okay, Prosper Pepino. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my favorite part about what these the cards hell? is seeing what he decided was worthy of retrains. That's actually kind of interesting to me. It's it's the only thing I look forward to right now. Uh, <laughs> card effects. Wait, Auto is this is this even a retrain? I don't think. I never heard of it, but then again, I'll play Leonorn, so I'm just going to assume I don't know. Uh, it's, I I don't think that card exists actually. Uh, <laughs> guys, we're going on a trip. Okay. Uh, highlight, copy. I am such a good man. Don Pepino Pizza Sauce, fourteen and a half oh, ounce. Oh, it's it's a it's a retrain of the Leonorn promo. Uh, you know that the one that whenever it boosts, it gives something plus five k. Prosper. Yeah, that one. Oh. Yeah. Ah, ah, okay. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, share your... Hey, we found a Reddit <laughs> post, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, boy. Up the doop the doop. I should go check out this post because it looks super based in Red Guild. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> enough clowning around. Let's get...
<laughs> that was funny. Uh, that made my day. So, uh, card effect. When this unit is placed on rear by card ability, you may soul charge one and call a unit from your soul to rear. Damn, that's an upgrade. Excuse, me? Uh, excuse <laughs> you. How about, excuse you. All how about right. What you, is this? Uh, counter blast, either counter blast or discard as a cost. Then you're you're good, buddy. Um, auto rear. When this unit boosts, if you have a Vanguard with Leonard Slayer in his card name, choose a unit in the same column as his unit. It gets uh gets five thousand in a turn. Uh, this is fine um it's just the the, the same thing basically mm -hmm. it, i mean all right uh so uh -huh. this is too free but then again everything about his lean or card design says hey it didn't have enough cards let's give it more <laughs> easy um it's just it's weird dude it's it's just I, uh, why I'm, I'm thinking of how it's v just, was if right you, if you like blessing <laughs> it's mm -hmm. it's just blessing as a cost <laughs> Ah, blessing is a cost. You gotta love it, man. Uh, it's <laughs> that that's so weird, dude. I, I mean, it's not like a rampant blessing is in the state of standard right now, though, for a lot of decks. I mean, you've set a precedent, but then that precedent got crushed by monsters like Willista. Uh, so uh, maybe this is the way of the future, but still, the design is so weird. Uh, cards for Mitru. Wow, cool. Four colored wave demonic dragon slayer. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay. Um, so, act, I had to search for the act there for a second. Act van, once per turn cost, counter blast, and soul charge 2. If all the cards, uh, have different grades, you may draw a card. If you do, send one card in your hand to the soul. Whoa. Uh. So, huh. it, it's not even a plus one, it, it's a, it builds three soul, though, for a CB. Um. Hmm. It does make it easier, I guess. I don't know. I that's actually kind of a downgrade. I'd prefer to just keep the card, considering that most of the time that that card is going to be an important piece for something. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Act van once per turn. If your opponent's vanguard has dragon tree or Mastin's card name, discard one card from your hand. Call a follower from your soul to rear. Sure. Uh, okay. Things has been too balanced too far. Um, uh -oh. there, there's something here. There's gotta be there's something. something here. When this unit attacks a vanguard, <laughs> counter blast and soul blast with different grade. Okay, cool. Uh, choose two of your opponent's mm -hmm. rear guards, retire them. Wow, um, that's Jodgled Mask. Choose one of your opponent's vanguards, in increase or decrease to one. All right. Oh, but there's there's okay. more. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, this unit gets drive plus one until end of turn. Ah, huh. there's the plus. This is uh, this is still tame, though. <laughs> this is surprisingly tame. <laughs> you know what, though? I would hella play this. I really like this one now. Because of that drive, that drive beautifully addresses why this is a break even. And the reason why it's a break even is because this helps set up for this effect more accurately. And then what? So because here's the thing. You're trying to address uh, a void filled by Draw Jeweled Mask, which is the stability of Draw Jeweled Mask Persona Remove effect, which added any two cards from Drop into the Soul. So it addresses that. Now, That's you true. do li lose the critical effect, which is fair. You lose the critical effect. However, what you do gain from it is that drive, and that drive can dig into all sorts of nonsense. Um, and of all the kind of dark retire. states, oh uh, yeah, retires are still the there. Retires are really nice. Yeah, it's they're... still nice. That is really nice. <laughs> I, like I, I, I man, Nabs, you know, I gotta say, uh, e even a broken watch is right you did twice it. a day. He actually, yeah. he actually made one. He, he he made one that I really right. like, and I'm happy about it because Draw Jeweled is my second well, favorite standard deck. <laughs> let's uh let's, let's move we on. still haven't gotten to the support yet. You know what? This yeah. card is nice and balanced, right? But let's see the support first. Oh god. Got you. <laughs> Rock Argor, a uh, demonic follower, stone edger. Good name, and Rock Argor is a perfect pick as a companion. Um been beating up Donji since day one. Auto rear, once per turn. When this yeah. unit is called from soul to rear guard. Ah, so he's got a, he's, okay, okay, okay. This would be cool if this wasn't Dragon Tree or Mass Locked. Um, because now that's Whoa. such a weird thing. Well, technically, technically, you don't need to call it off of uh, Dragon effect. What, you gonna play Milo Slava? Not Milo Slava, the, uh, the cycle card. 
uh, the triple R cycle card from DB10. I guess you could. Um, so I'm, I'm still a little pissed by that, but then again, I'm not that pissed now that you mentioned that there are more ways. So we'll just say it's kind of a really um, weird stipulation that you build your deck around. So when this unit is called from soul to rear guard, you soul charge two, and if all the cards have different grades, this unit gets critical plus one. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. okay. Um, so RNG based critical, interesting, and that's not a drive check. You auto rear once per turn. <laughs> I guess that is what an RNG critical be. When this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit, unit, okay, uh, but also grade three or greater. Mm -hmm. If your soul has four or more cards of different grades, it gets 10,000 power until end of turn. Okay, so it's Brock Argor. Alright. Auto rear, when you when you soul blast four or more at the same time, if your opponent's vanguard is great three or greater, counter blast one stand this unit. Um so it's Rock Argor. Alright. But it soul charges and gets critical. Hmm. This uh Hmm. A slight upgrade. It's a, well, I, I say slight, but getting a crit there is actually really good. A getting hmm. a crit there is really optimal because that crit pressure is more worthy on a rear guard. Uh, your your vanguard with draw jolt, right? You're swinging with it, and it's got a it, it has a crit, so it has that crit pressure and that's good, but you're only getting it once. But with rock argors, you're getting it twice. You can uh, also. What's funny about this, right, and the thing that I feel uh, is a little bit weird is this this doesn't restrict you from playing in the mass variant. So if you do play in the mass variant, you can put a dragon tree marker on this. And now it's a 25 with a crit that swings twice. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, f further, furthermore, when playing this card, it's soul charging two. And soul charging two is pretty pretty wild for soul building right uh he it makes it more complete your ability to keep on getting cards this i feel needs to be slayer locked if you slayer locked it then you kind of throw that extra oomph that makes the slayer variant got the really nice incentive and it's typical for drodgel to be defined by the power of its rears right yeah it's just now uh this is uh, there is a kind of a problem that arises from this in retrospect in that this just power creeps rock a right? yeah it's very ineloquent if, it's really a rock girl with another effect and if you were if we were to do as you suggested and make it make that first effect slayer lock that means the you know which makes sense you should uh then it's i guess it makes it good uh, but then Dragul's also dependent on the uh, uh, the opponent having a dragon, uh, being a dragon tree. God, this is confusing, honestly. Like, you know what? This is actually confusing. If you don't want to Slayer Lock it, which I think is okay. <laughs> if you don't want to Slayer Lock it, get rid of the 10,000 power. Um, that way it doesn't hit as hard, but it's got crit pressure. So your opponent doesn't want to be taking pokes. Yeah, that's another way. Another way I would have gone about this is that I straight up would have just not make another Rokuger and just make a, a focus differently with uh, the support, which uh, maybe this uh, Magi Gaylor would uh, would address. And Magi Gaylor. So he took Ristal Gaylor and made it a great one. Neat. Um, I guess, sorry, Power Gem. You, you weren't mattering. Uh, so, auto rear. When this unit is called to rear from the soul by a card effect, which... Uh, I don't know why that's auto rear then. You counter blast one and soul charge one. Again, soul charging is a cost. Um, if the card soul charged is the same grade as your vanguard, this unit gets power plus five thousand to turn. Huh. So you see before soul charge with a little bit of a with a little bit chance of a power up. That actually feels like old D standard uh, card design. That actually feels a little <laughs> underpowered for what we've come to expect uh... right now. Honestly, no, I don't even think that's old D series. Nah, not even old D series, man. <laughs> that's, Lower. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty low, man. Um, auto on the back row rear. When this unit boosts, if the boosted unit is Demonic Jewel Dragon Ristal Gale. <laughs> <It's, laughs> oh boy. He specifically boosts Ristal Gale. Take a card from the soul and add it to your hand. And, and that part is free. Uh, <laughs> How about. Fair, I guess, because you do need. Because you do need specifically Ristal Gaylor. 
so i guess that's fair but man this is a really these two cards are like weird you know it feels like a support that shouldn't exist mostly because they are rep- uh, either repetitive or unnecessary yeah or, uh, but i guess that's <laughs> It's a little ineloquent, right? Uh, it's kind of neat that it's missing Ristol Gaylor, but it's like, who cares about Ristol Gaylor, right? Ristol Gaylor was never taking the spotlight. Something like Rock Argor, I sort of understand more because Rock Argor is just the dude. He's the piece. Um, but Ristol Gaylor was always just a facilitator. Uh, as a as a draw jeweled semi main, I hardly used the dude, and the mask came along and told you to not use him at all. <laughs> so what the like, heck? I'm gonna do your job now. I'm gonna do your job now, but yeah, better. So <laughs> what? What legacy did Ristol Gaylor leave behind to to warrant this? But I mean, uh, I, 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 it's kind of neat. Maybe, I guess. maybe if you think it as a oh because uh because Ristol Gaylor doesn't have a legacy, you know this guy is giving him one. <laughs> it's the hero no one asked for but the one we got it uh got not got and it a got. hero comes along <laughs> with the strength to carry through. okay so uh <laughs> is youth the last stuff youth is the last stuff okay cool so hopefully we can end on good notes the 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 draw jeweled stuff uh was a little bit weird um it, it's a little bit weird and clumsy but honestly easily the best of the bunch um i actually kind of dig this it feels like we're returning to form a bit uh so cars for rika slayer youthberg gemini arms wow it's only four words and they're all good words lice um card effects revolt dress auto at the end of the battle this unit attack okay let's see how he does his revolt dress just one card with revolt form and safety hand rise and gets drive minus two in a turn okay so it's just like skyfall arms good um <laughs> Too many people try to make that cracked for some reason. Uh, act van once per turn. You discard a card from hand. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with a revolt form and its name from among them. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Or choose up to one great or less card with follower from among them and call it to rear. Put the breast in the bottom in any order. Hmm. So it's a weaker version of that effect in an odd way. Uh, act van once per turn. If your opponent's vanguard has dragon tree or mass in its name, you counterblast one soul charge <laughs> one. Again, the soul charge is a cost. This thing gets triple drive. <laughs> Wait, Why? did triple drive always have three uh, exclamation points? Uh, yes, but usually, yeah, it always had three exclamation points, but whenever they write it in an ability they just say triple drive without yeah, exclamation that's points. what turns me that's what i was saying like did it always have three exclamation <laughs> points when you're doing like an effect like that's weird um yeah <laughs> so it gets triple drive but it's locked behind uh dragon tree or mass um it's the same complaint i had with goddamn bavs <sighs> and that's a crying shame because he was almost on to something here <sighs> okay <laughs> <What is okay? laughs> Why the soul charge? I'm so confused. Uh, Why? What are you soul charging for? Why? Especially in a deck like Youth, which just oh, like naturally gets next to the soul. Um, the order. Oh, I mean, I guess Is this so. The orders? But then, <laughs> I like how he's looking at that and thinking, "Wow, Soul Blast Two is." Oh, oh that's a cost, man. But <laughs> CB Two, eh, whatever. Let's throw God. like four cards out all CB Two. <laughs> <laughs> god damn bro oh my god soul bro oh Jesus. man cannot have it can't have so, it cannot live without it it's that's weird it's just skyfall arms that gets tacked on with this effect and honestly because of that this just power creeps skyfall arms well actually kind of not because yeah. this is a weaker version of the skyfall arms discard cost so actually let me retract my statement mm. you probably don't play this yeah, maybe if you to increase the top three to top five, somewhat, it'll be more tolerable. <laughs> Wait, better idea. Um, if the card, uh, if you call a card with follower in its card name, draw one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Got you there. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, uh, alternatively, nah. you could just make it a counter judge or uh, whatever. Just it's, just it's just it's just it's 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 a, it's a weird card. It's a lot of the Slayer cards feel like they don't belong because they don't implement <laughs> themselves in a graceful way into their 
pre-existing deck strategies. So Youth Burke Revolve Form Cataclysm. No, no right, cool. us. Okay. I mean it's a cool name though. So I guess that's fine. Odd on Van. When this unit is placed on Van, circle by the Revolt just ability. So far so good. Uh a lot of people fail to even get to this part properly. Uh all of your front <laughs> <laughs> straight in the I I'm serious, bro. I've read a lot of youth customs. You would not believe they they like literally they trip on a rock two feet from the starting line. Um, okay, so then and for reference, youth is my favorite standard deck so i'm 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 very critical about this stuff and then if your opponent's <laughs> vanguard has a vanguard with uh you oh my god it's, 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 it's <laughs> it doesn't stop uh, it doesn't fucking stop uh, okay so it's tempest but then this is where it gets to you discard two cards in your hand reveal the top three cards of your deck from the sum of the grades of the cards revealed have why are we doing division Choose up to the number of your How opponent's you? rear guards on dragon tree markers or have dragon tree or mass in the card name and Put on the bottom of your deck put all the reveal cards in your head. So you discard two and add the top three uh, That is um oof, That 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 is still a plus one via like tempesty kind of things. Okay, and then <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to think of how you would have a one or a three <laughs> From the sum of the grades revealed, I, I I guess we have to do what any rational human being would do and round down. Um, <laughs> round down. <laughs> and I love how the removal is only based on getting rid of dragon tree crap. So if you don't do that, it's just a objectively this, worse tempest. <laughs> this is so targeted, bro. This feels targeted. <laughs> This feels targeted, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's that's bad. That's bad. It's it's the complaint I have had with so many of these Slayer cards, which is they do objectively worse things unless you're fighting at the specific matchup. So why the, play uh, these? <laughs> this is the equivalent of the writer making Raika go Gus instead of Tempest. <laughs> Yeah, right. When it, I mean, that that is a, a thing that uh, me and Nabs have been on a lot watching the Vanguard anime is for, for all of you Vanguard anime watchers, if not, you can just continue to not listen. Um, so, oh, that was actually rude. Okay, anyway, so if he rides Gus first, he loses. Riding Gus first is a signal that he is going to struggle. Now, he doesn't always lose when he rides Gus first because uh, he beat Toya despite doing that. But riding Gus first is a signal that things are going to get hard because he had to do that against Toya. And wouldn't you know it, he got his ass beat to the verge of defeat. So if you're riding Gus first, it's hard. He, he, he it's easier to ride Zest first. And that's hilarious. Um, okay, anyway. I, I I sound weird. Basically, don't ride Gus first. It's bad juju. Whenever I've, I've had to ride Gus first in the game, I usually lose as well. It's it's a bad luck charm. This if, this card is terrible, unfortunately, because it does it does. And I rarely say that about a card so objectively, but this is a youth bird card. I have to be real. I am not playing this. I am not. It doesn't do crap for you that Tempest doesn't. You just would add <laughs> more copies of Worst Tempest, which you don't need because Gus is a legitimately better finisher than Tempest. So you just play Tempest and Gust. And maybe a Zest if you're a cool person. You know? Like, you yeah, know? That's it. This has no place in the deck. <laughs> This has no place in the deck, at least, uh, and this has no place in the deck. They're worse. <laughs> what? Okay. At least they, uh, at least they didn't mess up uh, being placed by the revolt ability part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. He at least reads pre-existing cards and understands the conditions to do. He's a little bit weird with cause. He, I think he's got the whole soul charge and soul blast thing backwards. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll grant him that. Um, follower of angelic destruction. Schne oh my God, Schneisel sounds like a, a final boss of some RPG. I probably won't play. Um, so card effects. When this unit is placed on rear, you counter blast one, Shy. peep top five, add a grade three youth, and put it in your hand. And this unit gets power plus five thousand on a turn. If your opponent has dragon tree or mask, it gets ten thousand instead. Actually, that's fine. I feel like that's <laughs> that. That's a good bonus to have against dragon tree or mask. It's fine. It's 
not invasive, but it's meaningful, potentially. Uh, auto on Ooh, that second one. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, if your Vanguard was placed by riding from a grade three this turn, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets power plus 5,000. If your Vanguard Slayer in its card deck gets critical with someone said, ah, so this is why we play Slayer. Um, but you know what's funny? Why is that not restricted to Dragon Tree? Like, why is the first one restricted, but not the second one? Like, that should have been swapped, all right? You know what's that hilarious? That should actually be swapped. Yeah. <laughs> this... Uh, Nabs, I'm about to blow your mind. We'll go ahead. Gemini Arms is yeah. the stronger Vanguard versus Cataclysm in attacking because it gets triple drive and it gets a critical because it only works for Slayer names and Cataclysm doesn't have Slayer in its name. <laughs> that is so ass. You have to attack with Schneisel and, and then Schneisel doesn't get the plus five from the Cataclysm. That is so so bad oh my god oh oh my god no it's so backwards this no. everything about this is backwards oh my god oh my god wow i don't even know what to say to that like I'm, I don't, I really don't like to be insulting or rude or anything unless it's in a joking manner, but you failed. This is you terrible, actually right? Managed, you actually managed to fail basic card design. It, that's rough. That 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 is rough I'm because sorry. he begins and ends these fine. Like they're built fine. They're structured fine. His draw tools are actually pretty good, but then this is just... He, it's like he doesn't even understand the basic fundamentals of what youth does. He doesn't understand the fundamentals. Like, that's wow. that's bad, right? Like, man. Um, so, yeah, final card of the night is Bewitching Follower of Resurrection, Sequana. Um, it's a grade oh, one with usual stats. Uh, he chose Sequana of all things. So I, I'm fine with that. She's hot. Um, card effects. Auto. When placed on rear by the card ability, um, if you have a Vanguard with Youth Burke in his card name, you counterblast one. And for every unit on your opponent's field, choose up to the same number of cards in your drop and return them to the deck and shuffle. <laughs> oh no, I read the second skill. Oh no. Oh no, I read the second skill. I've learned. Oh no. Let me read before getting any uh, judgment here. Um, so, I'm so sorry. Counter continuous rear. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard with Youth Burke in his card name, this unit gets uh, R plus 5,000. That's, <laughs> That's funny. Hold on. Uh, auto. What? what? No, 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 no. I, I accidentally read the last skill. Oh my god. Uh, auto rear when this when your unit is placed on van by the reward just ability put this card in your soul choose one of your vanguard slayer in his card name and increase or decrease the drive to you see that would be busted if what if it actually you see it's broken but not because of the drive plus two being like super like wonderful which it is it's it's an absolutely busted effect but it has no target because cataclysm is not a slayer <laughs> it has no target it can't activate <laughs> oh. 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 So oh, this is bad. It's broken oh, in the worst way possible. Bad. It's broken because it doesn't function. But if it did function, it would be too much. So you, so it, it, either way, you pick a poison. Ah. Uh, um. Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, like Josh. <laughs> okay, and we you know what sucks? To... I was actually pleasantly surprised by a recycle effect because I've died to deck out in youth a lot. And I was just saying, <laughs> hoop -de -doop -de -doop. oh boy, I wonder if we can get a recycle effect. Uh, you know, like how Green on Mass needs a recycle effect. Maybe Bushy will recognize <laughs> we need recycles. And I see a recycle, I'm like, oh boy, a recycle. So truly, Sequana will be the card that will redeem this entire... And then you read the other effects. <laughs> God, we're gonna we're gonna have to name this video. We're gonna have to name this video. Where is the cost? Where is the slayer name? <laughs> uh, no, I think the name of this video is gonna be dead on arrival. 
<laughs> and there's no reason we cannot have all of them. <laughs> God, dude. I mean, if we try to, then we can finally make a title that's more words than some of these Slayer names. Uh, God. I, I, like, my guy. Oh. The bodybuilder. I'm so oh. sorry, bro, but you kind of you kind of failed us. Oh, we, that, <laughs> like, there, there's traces oh. of good effects here, but it's in a myriad of failed principle, bad and overtuned car designs. Either or, really. Um, we get both here. Surprisingly, it's he's kind of going back and forth with it. And also just some concepts that don't that shouldn't even be here by any means. And also the restrictions are really out of place with these dragon trees or masks. They're not stratified at all. It's almost like as if you spin the wheel on where to put them in the card text. Um and Who's that Pokemon. And, and also probably the biggest defense I have with this is a lot of these slayers don't they're either direct power creep. And thus don't belong in the deck because they're direct power creep or they don't belong in the deck because there's such specific counters that you wouldn't play in this game at all because you don't have a sideboard so uh -huh. th these these cards almost all are bad in one or the other and there's they just don't work they don't work and the closest cards you have to working are ones that are just are just basically alt versions of cards that already exist and that's boring and probably not worthy anyway so i'm sorry i guess nirvana i, I guess nirvana doesn't have the problem technically <laughs> nirvana was the probably the best thing we got man in retrospect because it wasn't immediately it, like it was an expansion on the card instead of being purely derivative and it actually was kind of neat and that was the first card <laughs> If you disclude the orders, that was the first card we read. Wow. That this was a journey. We're we're ending the video here. This was a journey, dude. Um I mean, I I'm sort of a loss for words. Like my like my compatriot here. I don't know what to say that hasn't already been said at this point, but I kind of weep tears of blood for it because the concept of slayers is such a cool idea given what masks are right i want to see what the slayers look like i want to see motifs it would be nice to see the units here being interpretive have like a gold and white theme to them you know like that would be a, a nice touch uh, although with bastion it wouldn't really change that much um but that's that's besides the point um it would be nice to see that like can you see a gold and white youth burke like arms car that would be really sick um so i want this to be a reality mm. but you have so many car design problems that i feel compelled to be like hey dm us work with us and we can repost this next season and make it beautiful because i want this to work this is top five ideas in this entire post but it has the most crippling flaws because of how many i it has more than i can count on one hand it's a tragedy <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, that's what I got to say. You, you got any final remarks here, Naz, boy? Kill me, please. Oh, man, I... It, it was... Man! I got, I got nothing I could say. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. All right, so, um... Uh, there's the video. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Next... We, uh... We're just we're just gonna end this here, all right? Uh, yeah. You... Next video, just to just to put the disclaimer again from uh, sorry to interrupt, just to put the disclaimer from last time. I feel the need to repeat it, right? Uh, the next one is going to be the last one for the season, and afterwards we're gonna start having battles. Um, Nabs, do we? Is there any slayers we would actually like to play in these custom <laughs> card battles? No, I wouldn't even touch the Nirvana one. Not with, out of respect for the other ones. <laughs> I, I might, I might mess with the draw jewel, but that's a hard might, and that's about it. But uh, that's all to say that we're going to be having custom card battles. Now, uh, as for the decision making process on what decks to play and the release schedule, I don't know. I already had some people DM me about that. I'm going to make a post after the final review detailing a little bit more the logistics of that because of how invested a lot of people have been with it and i'm gonna try and make it good we're gonna try and make this actually like really nice and entertaining and give respect to all the effort that's been put here because this post blew up 
way more than any other and way more than i think we all had expected like cumulatively right so i want to give respect to that and yeah. make it a good thank you for all your support series. right right you <laughs> thank know? you for all your support for these past few months you know his channels have been growing a lot you know it's nice to see a friend and their channel actually growing like really well and uh, you guys have been really interactive i uh, we appreciate you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like the best part about it is the fact that I get to bring other friends here and we become sort of like a team, a community. And then that community extends to all the other subscribers and the people are commenting and how they get to be involved. And this is one of the most like community involved things. I probably the most community involved thing I do on the channel. And that probably even beats out the uh, the uh, Will Just reviews, even though there's a lot of talking that I really enjoy with that. But that's all just to say, we're gonna make it involved and we're gonna make it cool. So expect more details on that after the review. Now, if you did like this review, uh, which I mean, hell, I hope it was entertaining. <laughs> uh, go ahead and check out the other reviews that came prior if you didn't already in the playlist that'll be linked at the end of this video. You'll see it over in the end screen. Uh, but if you're already all caught up, then you can go ahead and check out all sorts of other Vanguard content if you're feeding for more tier list top tens fight videos the whole shebang and if you like what you see consider leaving a subscribe for the next time that i upload a video and turn on that notification bell with that take care god bless see you next time sayonara